This is the freakiest thing I've ever found at the beach. And the crazy part is, it's right beneath your feet. Have you ever seen a bunch of holes lining the beach before? I've been seeing hole after hole after hole everywhere. And I've always wondered what it was. Today, we're gonna find out. Cause I got a pump and I got a bucket. And we're gonna see what's beneath our feet. See them? Watch this. That is so crazy. Oh my God. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, look, it has claws. The crazy part is this has been beneath our feet for so many years and we had no idea that there were like pretty big ghost shrimp just hiding right below our feet. I've always wondered what these little holes were. <laughs> oh! I don't want to touch it, it's so freaky. Ew, they're soft. Come on. Ah! It's like oh. <laughs> soft, look. Whoa, what is this alien thing? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Good Freaky. job. Hey. 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 Wow, look at this. We made it back. Back on the beach, back on the beach, baby. What's going on? Where? Oh, there it is. Holy crap. Nice. Let's see. That's a perfect one. Good job. Wow, <laughs> perfect. Yay. Nice find. Thank you. you see all these holes everywhere? They're all over the place. I got a shrimp gun, shrimp pump right here. And we're gonna suck some, some up see what we can find there's a hole right here some holes right here whoa holy crap that thing is huge holy crap that's a huge one that is a big one that just came right out. Freaky looking. Look at it. Holy crap. That's the first ghost shrimp I've ever caught. That thing is huge. Yeah, we got one. Let's see. Let's do that again. That was so easy. <laughs> when you do that, all of the other holes are like... Yeah, it's like a whole tunnel system. I saw it, that's like a little snail, right? Yeah. Look, there's another one. Look, it's just opening its sail and just like going with the current. Look at that. Whoa! That is so interesting. Let's put a little bit of water in there, keep that guy alive. Got one! Another big one! That is so freaky. That is a huge one too. Whoa! 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 Holy crap! It is popping out of there. You see this? You see these little holes? You can see them kind of spurting water out. That's how you know there's one in there. Nothing. Look at that. These are massive shrimp. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, so I got this gun from Amazon, but you can make it yourself. I just didn't, I was a little bit lazy. I didn't want to make it myself. So I just bought one from Amazon. I'll include the link in the description. There's actually a technique to actually pumping it out. You don't want to just pump it all the way up. You want to pump it maybe three fourths of the way and then pull the tube out. 
Look how fat they are. That is such a creepy looking thing. They don't even move. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, there. Wow. Whoa. Aaron, would you like to try? <laughs> oh! Ah! You got one! Ooh, I don't want to touch it, it's so freaky! Ew! It's, They're soft! Come on! Ah! It's Ew! okay. It's okay. It's gross! Is it gross? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ooh. There we go, good freaky. job. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> got him. Oh, you got one. These are enormous, y'all. Yeah. These are enormous. So we're gonna find some little holes and we're just gonna pump them out. Oh, there's a lot of holes here. One. Two. Whoa! Oh, holy Whoa! Crap. It's a deep hole. Be careful. It's a really deep hole. Bit me. Bit you? Yeah. Well, you cut it in half. Yeah, I did. Fair. All right, let's see how much we got. Oh my goodness, that's so many. Wow. All right, let's get like, let's say five more and yeah, then let's yeah. be done. Okay. Look at this hole right here. I think it'll start spurting some stuff out. Yeah, see? No. See them? Watch this. When I suck this, these other holes get affected. It's a whole tunnel system. Watch, watch. It's a whole tunnel system. That's crazy. This is our catch all with the floats. You see the color of the orange? That orange is supposed to match the color of the ghost shrimp, like this. Or like a sand fleas. The yellow is supposed to match it as well. Let's do half and half, okay? That half. So we're gonna put this on like this. Hook it through as many times as you can. Wow, look at that shrimp. Now we're gonna take the bait elastic and we're just gonna wrap it on here. That without the bait elastic, it'll just fly right off your hook. But with the bait elastic, it stays on. And then you just tug it when you're done. And now it's secured on here.
so while we wait, let's actually take a look at this bait. They're very unique looking shrimp. If you take a close look, they have teeny, teeny, tiny eyes. You see those little black specks right there? I'm pretty sure those are the eyes. They've got, they got look a little digging, digging, uh, digging hands. Got a little claw right there. They've got like their, it looks like their hands are, are made to dig down and burrow itself under there. But the, this back, it looks like a honeycomb. It's a very interesting looking creature. And when you take it out of the water, it's just so soft. It doesn't seem like it, can, it, it has much of an exoskeleton even. So look at the legs of this thing too. They're like paddles, look at this. They're not individual legs, look. That is very strange. And I hear this is some of the best bait to use on the beach because when you see those waves out there, I'm sure there's a bunch of those crabs out there. Whenever the waves hit like that onto the sandbar, it washes them up. And fish will wait around and look for that orange color and strike at that orange color. That's why I have my floats to be that orange color. Yeah, I just got these rods casted out. Now it's just about waiting to see what wants to bite it. I was just telling Brendan that I was standing here wiggling my feet in the sand and then I got kind of freaked out. Because I was like, I don't know what's in the sand. Something could bite me. Those ghost shrimp are freaky. on there. That's the first fish of the day. It's a catfish. You got to be careful with the catfish because they're barbs. There's spikes right here. They're barbed. If you get hit by it, it's really hard to pull it out and they've got venom in there and it really hurts. So you just got to be careful when handling these fish. Oh my god, that was. I saw that video, it was horrible. I that, video. that. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Don't play around with fish or catfish or. Don't slap your friends with fish. Yeah. kicking in the surf. Whoa, what is this? Huge lady. That's a huge lady fish. Holy cow. Oh my god, yeah. Wow. Dang, that bit the uh, bottom one. Whoa, took all the bait. That's a pretty big one. This is a ladyfish, and there, I have a good recipe for this one. Nice catch.
trying to figure out how to get this thing on. There. Now the crucial part is you need this Invisa thread right here, or it's not gonna stay on the hook when you cast it. See how I'm wrapping it on here? Wrap it tight so it doesn't come off. Look at the claws are dangling. A good general rule is if it's incoming tide and the waves are coming in, I cast it in front of the sandbar. If it's outgoing tide and the waves are going out, I cast it behind the sandbar. And I, that's just the way I found the most success. Okay, I'm gonna start with the tail this time. Oh. All right, that looks good. Now, let's tie it on. You gotta make sure the hook is showing a little bit. Not too much. It's hidden, but discreet. Hidden and discreet. And you see why we have the floats this color too? Look, this last one got all chewed up. Let's take it off. Nice one. Wow. An absolute monster ladyfish. Holy cow, it's so strong. Look at that. That's gonna make some good fish ball. Ugh. Fish meatballs. We got two big ones now. Now all we gotta do is take it home and I'll show you a really simple way to cook it up. That was a huge one. This is a huge one. Dang, look at, look at it compared to my leg. Oh, this one's getting bitten. Come on. The fishing has turned on. same exact thing. It's not jumping this time though. Could be something different. Oh, it's a stinking catfish. And look, look at the ghost shrimp on here still. Dang, you took my perfectly presented bait. That was a lot of fun. I haven't caught a big ladyfish like that in a while. And catching it on the surf, it just feels really powerful because it uses the waves to fight and you have to work with the waves. You can't just horse it in the whole time. It's really fun, because they jump a lot too. Oh, you got one. It's kind of hard to hook these. There, that looks good. Where's my bait thread? Too many pockets. Perfectly wrapped shrimp. Here's the third species of the day. Oops! Ah. 
gone. Gone. Oh well. It's kind of small anyway. It was small. Okay, I cannot explain to you how how much these freak me out. You don't like them? I do not like them. Why? They are, first of all, I don't, touching them is the worst part because they're really soft. Like, almost like jelly-like, right? Yeah, try eating one live. Th there's no shell. Ew, I'm just kidding. you try it. <laughs> no. But there's like no shell. They also shell. pinch you too. They pinch you. They just look like this like weird, historic, prehistoric, alien, bug, crustacean, blah. Let me bait it up then. Okay. Give it up here. First, you start with the tail. They're really squishy, right? Yeah, they're very squishy. It's staying on pretty well using the elastic. Yeah, it seems like it. I've definitely seen their skeletons washed up on the beach like dead. Yeah, me too. I never realized what I they were. I never realized either what they were. Look at that. They're so orange. Yeah, they're really Is orange and yellow. Yeah, eggs and like... Mustard? I don't know. Is that what it's called? I don't know. All right, let me cast them. All right. It's a big fat whiting. I hope. I say 50-50 whiting or catfish. But who knows? I'm always surprised. Ooh, oh. Catfish. <laughs> they love this. They love it. Shrimp. Look, this one's so fat. I think I can cast that back out. That bait elastic really kept it on there, huh? Yeah, it was just swimming towards you. <laughs> oh. I forgot. <laughs> that was on that ghost shrimp. So they like the ghost shrimp too. They've all they've been eating ghost shrimp. That's all they've been eating. Yeah, true. It's a mixture of ladyfish and catfish. The ladies love the ghost shrimp. Oh. Keep it. We're making fish balls. Hey! Good job, Aaron. <laughs> Into the bag it goes. Hey, right away! Oh my god, yes. Another big lightning. Thank you. Going in the bag. In the bag, it's what they call getting up there. Oh! Get it, man, get it! It's ours! There you go! Oh, that looks like something big, huh? Is it jumping yet? No. Okay, this could be a redfish. Could it? Where is it? Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No is way. It? It's a pompano! It's a pompano! We got a pompano! Small thing. No, that's, that's a keeper. Awesome! Woo! We did it! We're getting them good. Pompano, they love this bait. 
And I found this guy right in that first trough right here, right where the waves are breaking, not even very far out. Really tasty fish. Look at that big fat white. We're building up a, a nice bag here, guys. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I hope it's a pompano. No, it's a big old catfish. A massive catfish. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, another big whiting. I love them. I love them. Erin's back there moving the bike so they don't get hit by the tide, but I need her help. There's a lot of fish, Erin. Come back. I need help. Another nice whiting on the ghost shrimp on our high low rig. Look at that. Yeah. I'm gonna go get some more. Are there a lot? Holes everywhere? Yeah, back here. trying to barrow back in. That's an enormous whiting. What the? Put it in the bucket, put it in the bucket. Oh, I don't want to get hooked. That's a massive one, right? Yeah, that's huge. Look at this one. That's a pretty good one. Spanish pompano. 
wow. That's a special one. That's definitely a special one. Wow, look at that special fish. Wow, beautiful. Another pompano. There's so many different kinds of fish that like to eat this. Yeah. It's important, it's really important to let go of the undersized fish so they can go back out there and reproduce and make more. changed rigs a single time. I caught dozens and dozens of fish. That was, it's been a good day. Good if you guys want to get on fish just like this, it's really easy. And I teach to use the high-low rig like this. We have a bunch of these available at our store, hayskipperfishing.com. We hand paint these floats. We hand, these are hand-tied rigs, perfect to our specification. And if you want to just go out there and catch fish, get a 10-pack of these rigs, get some of our salted baits, just check out our website. We've got lots of stuff to help you get on fish. Today was a really great day of fishing because first of all, we caught all of our bait with that shrimp gun. That thing is freaking awesome. I don't know if you've ever used one before, but if you don't know where to get one, look on amazon.com. I'll post a link in the description below to where I got mine, or you can just build your own if you don't want to buy one. Yeah, that was so much fun. We both caught so many fish. So if you want to just get right on fish, I think one of the most important things is to have fresh bait. Fresh bait and the right fishing rigs. I've got a whole bag full of fish now that i got to clean and process and do stuff with now. We should try cooking one of those ghost shrimps one day. Oh my God. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Get out there and catch some fish. See you next week, guys. <laughs>